Oxygen OS. This has the latest official version of iOS 13.4.1. So let's quickly do a face unlock test. So you're just gonna look at the OnePlus 8 Pro. It does use that front camera up there in display, this hole up here, and it does unlock very fast. So much faster than what you're gonna find on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, as I'll show you right here. You just look and you go in. The thing with the iPhone 11 Pro Max is you can't just get right in. I like to see a feature where we can set it on the newer iPhones or we can just kind of look right through and get right into the phone, kind of like what the OnePlus 8 Pro does. Now also the OnePlus 8 Pro does feature that in-display fingerprint sensor here and you can see that's also very quick but we can't directly compare it because there's no in-display fingerprint sensor for the iPhone. But in terms of unlocking speed, the OnePlus 8 Pro is definitely quicker than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And if you don't like how it just goes right in, there is a setting on here where you can go ahead and change it so you can swipe to unlock just like the iPhone as well. Okay, and from a software standpoint, as we talked about earlier, latest version of Oxygen OS, we do have 10.5.4. You can see right there, if we check for updates, this is the latest update right here. Now also for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, iOS 13.4.1, so both on their latest respective version. Okay guys, so we've arrived at the application portion of the speed test. You could see everything closed out on both, same Wi-Fi networks, default animations on both of them. Let's go to clock. You can see a little faster there for the OnePlus 8 Pro. Let's go into calculator. A little faster animation on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Let's go to settings. Again, a little bit of a faster animation on the left. App Store versus Play Store. You could see, it looks like the App Store was slightly quicker there on that one. Coming back home, let's go into Weather. You could see very close, I think maybe Apple had that one slightly. Let's go into Snapchat. That looked like the, that was really close. Let me know on Snapchat, I couldn't even see it, it was so fast. Let's go into Facebook. That one goes to the iPhone, let's go into Twitter. That one's to the OnePlus. Let's go to Profile. Now think about this though. This phone's like $300 cheaper than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you know? And if you go for the higher end, it's like $400, $500 cheaper. This is like almost half the price if you go to the maxed out storage version on the uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's go into Instagram. Yet you're getting same if not faster performance. You can see that the scroll speeds are no match on the iPhone. And that's always been kind of that way on Android, but the smooth feel, it's even a little bit more choppy on the iPhone now than on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Let's go into Amazon on both. You could see, it looks like the iPhone slightly had that. Let's go into eBay. You could see that is the OnePlus 8 Pro on that one. Let's head into the first game, Mortal Kombat, and see which one is quicker to load this up. Now, the iPhone has historically beat the Android devices when it comes to just loading up the games. Both of them are gonna play games very well though. You're gonna be able to play extremely quickly and uh, having the 120 hertz, some games will be optimized in the future for this display. But it looks like the iPhone's still a little bit more powerful to load up this game right here, but not by much. I mean, it's not $300 more powerful if you ask me. And so there goes the iPhone for the win on that one. Now, one thing I like about the OnePlus though is that Unlike the Samsung phone, when you come out of the landscape app, it doesn't hang to you know rotate back to the portrait mode. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2 and see which one could load this first. That's the iPhone by a hair. Let's go into Play and see which one can actually get into the game first. Looks like the iPhone a little faster there, but you do get an OLED display here as well on the OnePlus 8 Pro, and you could argue maybe a faster and you can argue a faster and a faster refresh rate. So gaming might be a little bit smoother once games get optimized for the 8 Pro. So let's head into PUBG Mobile to see which one is faster and see which one can actually get into the match first. Now, both of them are gonna be great phones for gaming like this, especially because they both have big batteries, big displays. They're gonna be fun to use, both of these. So you can see the iPhone just rocketing there. And the OnePlus catches up quite easily though. So when it comes to playing a match on PUBG, the load times are gonna be incredibly fast on both. Now, when it comes to the actual gameplay in these games, I'm telling you, it's really gonna come down to how smooth is the, I actually went to the wrong game, how smooth is actually the game gonna perform on the OnePlus, for example. So is the game optimized for 120 Hertz? Cause right now it's gonna play super smooth, but the games need to be optimized, but still, uh, both going to be excellent gaming experience. Let's see which one is quicker now 
on the Geekbench. Three, two, one. You can see that's the iPhone. We'll hit accept here. Let's go into 3D Mark. Three, two, one. You can see very similar there. And let's go to speed test. And you could see the iPhone ready to do a speed test faster there. So I would say these are pretty close all around performance. I just think the display is smoother on the OnePlus 8 Pro and it's a lot cheaper than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So very good performance here for, if you compare this flagship to this flagship, this is great performance on the OnePlus 8 Pro and a smoother display. So let's see if they can hold all these applications in the background. So we have speed test. Pretty similar there. Let's go into 3D Mark. Looks like we had a slight reload there, popped open again on the iPhone. Let's go into Geekbench. You can see very similar PUBG. Both of them had that one. And let's go to Dead Trigger. Both of them had that one ready. Let's go into the Motor Combat. And looks like we have a reload happening there for the OnePlus 8 Pro. Again, this phone is still on some really early software. I'm not giving it any excuses. I'm just saying that these apps haven't been updated for this phone yet. Let's go into eBay and you can see very similar there. Let's go into Amazon. You can see very similar there. Instagram, very similar there. And let's go to Twitter. You could see very similar there. Facebook, still no reloads for either really except for the 3D mark for the iPhone and the Mortal Kombat for the OnePlus. Let's go into Snapchat. And then let's go into weather. Very similar. Let's go to Play Store App Store. Very similar. Let's go into settings. Very similar. Let's go into calculator. Again, similar and clock. So really, I mean, again, pretty much identical performance there going back through the app. So excellent RAM management. Again, you could get this phone in a 12 gigabyte of RAM version, which is even better at RAM management than this one you see here. Okay guys, so let's go to oneplus.com since it's, it is the latest phone that just came out. Let's hit oneplus.com and let's hit go on both. You could see both snappy as ever, but here's where you can kind of see it once again, just the scrolling way faster and smoother uh, for the OnePlus 8 Pro. So definitely very good on the iPhone. We're not taking anything away from that device. I mean, it's still a very smooth overall software. It's a little bit slower scroll. It's a little bit slower scrolling as well. Some people may like that, but I mean, this phone is on the same level for real and, and even surpassing many areas. The more competitive phone to this will be the ProMotion iPhone coming later this year. So let's go to apple.com to be fair here. And another new phone launching the iPhone SE redesign. Well, not redesign or brought back as an iPhone 8 disguised as an iPhone SE, but you can kind of see definitely very smooth on both once again. And uh, still the faster scrolling on the you know OnePlus 8 Pro. So definitely very good on both browsing. Again, this is a 5G phone though. This is only a 4G LTE phone. Okay, so we're gonna do a test of the 5G performance versus the 4G LTE. I'm gonna put the SIM in the OnePlus 8 Pro. At first, you can see it's kind of small, but it does say 5G right there on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now this is on T-Mobile's network, so it's not Verizon fast, but still it's gonna be a good test to see if it does perform better. One and see which one is quicker. Um, I'm gonna begin with the OnePlus 8 Pro and we'll see what this can pull in. Now, download speed so far, looking about 20, 22, 23, 24, getting up there. Again, this is not the fastest 5G out there, not that, you know, super 500 megabit speed, but it should still beat the 4G LT, we'll see. You can see the upload speeds coming in at around seven, we're going in for eight around there so far. Don't turn off iPhone 11 Pro Max and you could see not the greatest so far, but still we'll have to see how the iPhone 11 Pro Max stacks up in comparison. So 29 on the download, eight on the upload. Okay, so let's see how it does on the iPhone for its 4G LTE. Can it beat the OnePlus's 5G? We'll see right here. So pulling it around 11, 12, this is an area where historically the iPhone has been slower than competing Android phones. You can see once again, while this is not the fastest 5G, it's still more than double the download over the OnePlus 8 Pro. But the upload looking pretty good here on the 11 Pro Max. I don't know what happened with that upload on the 8 Pro, but 5G is mostly about download as well. Um, pretty good, pretty good upload there for the 
iPhone 11 Pro Max. So yeah, on the T-Mobile's 5G right now, they're still merging with Sprint. I mean, they've already completed it, but as of right now, it's not the fastest 5G, but you can still see a faster upload speed here for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And so here we are with the final scores and you can see the iPhone comes out a little bit ahead there. Well, not a little bit, quite a bit actually, 1320 on the single, but look how close they are in the multi-core performance. These benchmarks typically always go to the iPhone, but you've seen in this video that the OnePlus is right there with this iPhone. So you have an incredible value option here on the left and you have of course an incredible phone here on the right in the 11 these these are both great devices but i do have to state when it comes to benchmarks the iphone seems to always win this phone is still rock solid fast and it has a very light oxygen os software pretty close to stock so it just flies through everything and so in conclusion of this speed test what i gotta say is that the oneplus 8 pro feels faster to use it just kind of the animations, the, you know, quick 120 hertz display, super smooth now, you know, it just feels like a faster phone when you're using it. The iPhone feels really polished when you're using it. So, you know, what I mean is you get to enjoy your animations a bit. Of course, if you lower the animation speed, you can enjoy the animations on the OnePlus as well. It has some of the best animations on Android. So in benchmarks, the iPhone one, but in daily speed, I think you're gonna feel like the OnePlus 8 Pro is a faster phone. Anyway, if you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click the like button for me and let us know down below which one you would pick in this premium segment. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.